Hi, it's Wink, and here are 20 more things to do when you're bored at home. If you're running out of ideas of things to do, here are some. Let's get into it. Hydrate yourself. This one is a bit of a no-brainer, but there is no harm in staying hydrated, so keep a cup or a bottle of water near you wherever you are. Disinfect your surfaces. Hand washing is so emphasized at the moment, but don't forget to clean all your surfaces that you might touch all the time, such as your keyboard, your mouse, your phone, your laptop, you name it. Write yourself motivational quotes. This sounds quite cheesy, but I found it's quite good to have visual reminders to motivate yourself when you're stuck in the same room for really long stretches of time. You're stuck at staring at the same four walls, but at least they can be pretty and filled with things that inspire you on colorful post-its. Stare out of your window. We can get so absorbed with being indoors, we might forget to look outside. So don't forget to take a break every now and then to look outside at your view, whatever that might be. For me, I love looking up at the sky and looking at all the different cloud formations that form and blow across the sky as the winds pass by. If you're able to sit by your window, switch your meal times up by eating or snacking by your window while you're watching the world go by outside. This way, you have dedicated time away from anything else you're doing with no distractions, so you can stay more present in the moment. Reach out to a friend, or even a stranger. Staying connected has never been more important. Fill a post-it with doodles. A giant blank piece of paper or even a page in my journal can be really intimidating sometimes. So a small post-it is an achievable doodle goal for anyone. Draw anything you like and let your mind wander or focus on one thing here like I have. Here I'm only drawing birds because you gotta love birds. Doodle until you fill up the entire post-it. I'm sometimes amazed by how much you can fit on one if you try. Jam out to your favorite playlist. Just put it on shuffle and go ham. See how far you can zoom into your eye. Sometimes you just have to let yourself do some meaningless and unproductive things. Print pictures and decorate your walls. It's not fun staring at white walls, so if you take pictures, print pictures that you've taken, or find pictures that inspire you. My pictures are some that I've taken on past trips to the US that I remember very fondly. Build a shrine. This could be for anything you have an interest in, or if you collect any specific things such as rocks, things you like, my shrine is dedicated to Lime Friend's character Sally because she's yellow and she's a duck and she's cute. So I have accumulated a lot of Sally related things at the moment. Hug all your pillows for emotional support. Because many of us are social distancing, we don't get to have real hugs from other people at the moment. So the ones from our pillows will have to do. Our pillows could use some love too, so show them some love today. Become a blanket burrito. Sometimes we have bad days and being in a blanket burrito just makes it that little bit better and a whole lot more snuggier. So just give in, let yourself be in one. Start a journal. Your journal is whatever you need and want it to be. It could be diary style for noting down your thoughts, a scrapbook style visual log, or even a sketchbook style full of doodles. I wasn't really sure how to start this one, so I'm having fun doodling whatever comes to mind. Your journal is also a great place to reflect on and explore your deepest questions about life. Which brings us on into the next point. 
have an existential crisis because this is an unprecedented time in global human history. It's okay to not know what's going on. Write a letter to yourself. It's an accepted social norm to write letters to other people, but writing letters to yourself can also be quite useful. You could write to your present self now, your past self, your future self, yourself in another dimension or timeline. The possibilities are endless. Just take some time to be in conversation with yourself. Think about who you are and where you're at right now. Which brings us on to the next point. Reflect on our circumstances. We're living in strange times, and what has this time revealed about us as humans? Discover new music. A quick way to start off is to search for playlists of genres, moods, or those created by artists that you already like. When you find new songs and artists you're interested in but might not know much about them, you can check out their other songs too. I like going into the fans also like tab on Spotify on artist pages to see other similar artists I might like. So here I see Daft Punk, Skrillex, and Dead Mouse. Let's explore further here. For an example, I'll click on Disclosure, and here they have their own playlist called Disclosure's Record Bag. So I'm going in there, searching for new songs. There's a bunch of these that I don't know, so I'll give all of these a listen and explore. Clean and tidy your space. I'm no Marie Kondo, but having a tidy space does help with feeling motivated and energized. Plus, even if you're having a really unproductive day, you can at least say you've vacuumed the floor and done something today. Yay! Stare into the void. Because sometimes it just gets too much and you don't feel like being in this realm of existence anymore. So, staring into the void until the void stares back at you. Sometimes the void looks really pretty, like Sally. And last but not least, dream about space. It's nice to remember the fact that we are tiny beings compared to the vast size of the galaxy we live in, and that even the biggest of our problems are nothing compared to supernovas exploding and black holes imploding. Space is so cool.